All right. Okay, no laughing anybody, okay? You know I know you're gonna feel like laughing when I say this, but uh, no laughing, this is uh, very serious, okay? There are actual people who think the earth is flat. So this little uh, lecture is to um, try and demonstrate some of the questions that they have. All right, so they continuously say things like, that's the flat earth people, continuously say things like, Water always lies flat. Okay, that's one of their big uh, mantras. So let's see if we some examples that we can put up before we go on to some more detailed stuff. Let's look at some of the simple stuff, like water always lies flat. Well, clearly it doesn't. Example number one, tides. Notice here, we've got low tide, high tide. All the water's gone at low tide. If you go to the beach, where did all the water go? Well, if you represent that on a diagram, you can see we've got low tide, there's the ground, and we've got high tide. So it's obviously accumulating somewhere else. The water doesn't just disappear. It accumulates somewhere else. So low tide, high tide, not flat. All right, let's go for another example. How about this one? Inside a test tube. We have a look at this. This is called the meniscus. It's not flat. Okay, oh, look at this one over here. That's a puddle on the floor. Now, if we look at the puddle side on, we'll see that the puddle is raised a little bit because it didn't flow everywhere, it's still in the shape of a puddle. So, logically, it's not bloody flat. Okay, they, they, they're trying very hard not to make a noise, that's good. Okay, all right, so, let's look at this one. We have a wet basketball. Look, we've damaged some of the balls. Got rid of it there, okay. A wet basketball. We took a basketball and we wet it. And the water is still around it because it's wet. If I throw it at you, lots of water will go on you because the basketball is wet. If you're not sure what wet means, spill some water on yourself. That's what wet means. You are now wet. Water will stick to you. You are wet. We call that wet. Wet means there's a layer of water around the basketball. Now, if you scale this basketball to the size of the earth, you'll find that the thickness of the wet surface around the basketball is more than the oceans. Well, you know what? Water is not flat. Okay, let's have a look. Why does water stay with the ball? Let's have a look at this tube. Tube over here, that's a long distance. It's a very long distance, this tube here. But we're going to see if the water is going to be level because People often use water in tubes to get their levels. And water works perfectly for that. It's very, very nice. It's been used for a long time. The Romans did it. Well, let's have a look how come. But well, all the water is heading, or every molecule of water is heading towards Earth's center of mass. Now, wherever you're standing, it's the distance from the center of mass to the top of the water is the same. That's why it's level. So as you can see from here, this distance over here, X, is the same over here, it's the same over here, it's the same over here, and it's the same over here. Okay, even though that is level to the observer. That looks like it's level, it's the same distance. But if you have a look across here, the earth is curved. 
Water is not bloody flat. Do we get it now? Thank you.